Hi folks, this is Calc 2 Quiz 7. We're asked to determine if the given series converges or diverges and state which test you used and all the relevant details. Remember, the first test we always use is the nth term test. So if I look at the nth term here and look at the limit as n goes to infinity of n plus 5 over 3n plus 1, I'm going to get 1 third. And what's important about one-third is that it's not zero. So we can say by the nth term test, the series diverges. And that'll take care of letter A. <clears throat> letter B. We have numbers to powers. Uh, that's an indication that it's in fact geometric series and in fact it is a geometric series and we can prove that by taking a sub n plus 1 divided by a sub n. So replace n with n plus 1 and multiply that by the reciprocal of a sub n. Uh, when you simplify, you get a negative 1 in the numerator, a 2 in the numerator, so you get a negative 2 in the numerator, and then in the denominator you get a 3. Okay, so it is a geometric series. If I take the absolute value of the, ra uh, the ratio, it's 2 thirds. That's less than 1. So this converges by the geometric series test. Letter C. I can rewrite this as the series from n equals 1 to infinity of 5 over n to the 4 thirds power. I've got n to the first here. This is n to the 1 thirds, n to the 4 thirds. This is a p series. p equals 4 thirds, and what's important about that, it's greater than 1, so the series converges. Letter D. I can rewrite this as the sum n equals 1 to infinity, 1 over n to the 1 third. This is another p-series. p equals 1 third, and what's important about that? It's less than or equal to 1, which means it diverges. And last but not least, series E, which uh, gave people some issues. I always recommend, when in doubt, write it out. So when n equals 1, I get 1 times 2 over 2. So that's negative 1 to the first power, which is negative 1. Plus, plug in n equals 2. 2 times 3 over 2 is 3. Plug in n equals 3. 3 times 4 over 2 is 6. Plug in 4. 4 times 5 over 2 is 10. Plug in 5. 5 times 6 over 2 is 15. Plug in 6. 6 times 7 over 2 is 21. Plug in 8. 8 times 9 over 2 is 36. So we get this pattern. So if we take the limit as n goes to infinity of negative 1 to the n times n plus 1 over 2, this limit does not exist. In particular, this limit's not 0, so by the nth term test, it diverges. So that'll do it for quiz 7.